with this question, um, we have been given a um, a length, and we've been given a length, and we should also remind ourselves that this is a right angle triangle, and we've been asked to work out an angle. Okay, so um, again, we're going to use trigonometry. Um, and the first thing we want to do, just like the previous question, is firstly label the triangle. Okay, so we want to label the triangle. Um, again, the longest side is the hypotenuse. Okay, um, and the length opposite the angle is the opposite, opposite the angle that we're working with or working out, and the remaining length is the adjacent. Okay, so the first step is to label the triangle. Second step, identify the rule that we need. Okay. So again, the rule is soft, half, so. Okay, um, and let's underline what we have and what we need to work out. So we have um, an we have an adjacent, so we underline all the A's. And we have an opposite, so we underline all the O's. Okay, and it's the one with the most, um, or with the two lens that underline that we need. So it's this one here. So let's write out the rule. Which brings us to the third step. To sub in the values. Okay, so TOA, so it's going to be tan equals O over A, and it's O over A because O comes first, as you can see here, O comes first, so it's going to be tan F, and what's O? 17. And what is A? 24. So before we do anything, the first thing we want to do is just put this bit in the calculator. So 17 over 24. So what's 17 divided by 24 in the calculator? Um, 83 recurring, yeah? Um, and all we do, we need to take this to the other side. So, usually if something's timesing on the left, I mean on the right, we divide on the left. If something's dividing on the right, we times on the left, right? We always do the opposite. So we have to figure out what is the opposite of tanning, and the opposite of tanning is to inverse tan. So it's tan, give them 1, minus 1, 0 0.708333. Close out there. So how do we do, how do we establish this in the calculator? We press shift. Yes, exactly, shift tan. And then we just put in the value, because the minus 1 will pop up, 0 0.708. Uh, let me know what pops up in the calculator, please. Good, okay, so it's about 35.3 degrees. So 